you know that lambda decreases with medium that means you you have already seen that when light moves from rarer to denser medium the velocity of the light wave changes with respect to the refractive index if the second medium is a denser medium the velocity decreases if the second medium is a rarer medium the velocity increases similar thing happens with wavelength so i can say that lambda is proportional to 1 by refractive index mu because when mu or the refractive medium is a denser medium then the velocity and the wavelength both decrease so now you see that let's say lambda is equal to k mu so when the medium is vacuum the lambda is equal to k when the medium is water lambda is equal to k by mu not so you see that lambda nu by lambda is equal to 1 by mu not or my new lambda is equal to lambda by mu not so the new lambda is less than the old lambda so that means what so the now the fringe width will be lambda nu by lambda uh, lambda nu d by d so this i can write as lambda by mu not d by d so you see that the fringe width act has actually decreased by a factor of mu not because mu not is in the denominator so this because of introduction of the setup in water this fringe width decreases now let's see what's the effect on the total width in lloyd single mirror the total width in lloyd single mirror is given by a c d divided by b b plus c so what is a b c and d as you all know that this distance is given by a this distance mirror distance is c this distance is b and this whole distance is d you see that in this formula all the distances are geometrical distances so no, no none of these distances have any correlation with the refractive index so that means what the total width in case of lloyd single mirror remains same so this remains same okay now let's move on to the third case that is number of fringes in fresnel's double mirror what is the formula for number of fringes number of fringes you know is given by the total width of the fringes divided by the fringe width okay so the total width of the fringes is what it's 2 ba and the there's the, the division of fringe width you see that this is the geometrical formula b and a are geometrical distances so this remains same and what is this fringe width as you saw the fringe width decreases by a factor of lambda so this decreases by a factor of lambda sorry this decreases by a factor of mu not so what happens since the denominator decreases by a factor of mu not that means the whole quantity increases by a factor of mu not so the number of fringes increases by a factor of mu not okay mu not into an initial okay now let's move on to the fourth part that is what is the thickness of the glass slab which needs to be introduced for that let's see what happens when we introduce the first glass slab in when the whole setup is in water see what is the delay because of the first glass slab because of the introduction of the flask first glass slab the time taken by the light wave to cover this distance is what this thickness t divided by the speed with respect to the original medium the speed with respect to original medium is what c divided by mu not sorry what is the speed of the light wave in this glass slab it's c by mu so the so the time taken by the light wave to, to cover this glass slab is c by thickness divided by c by mu now if this glass slab was not there then what would have been the time taken by the light to cover this distance it would be t c by mu not so the delay is what the, the, the delay is t by c mu 1 minus mu not let's say this has a refractive index mu 1 so when i introduce a second glass slab that should also provide the same amount of delay so that both the delays gets cancelled out 
So the, the delay provided by the second glass slab should be equal to T by C mu 2 minus mu naught. This should be equal to and this, the thickness was T2 as it was already said T by C mu 1 minus mu naught. So my T2 will come out to be T mu 1 minus mu naught divided by mu 2 minus mu naught. Okay, fine. Now, in the beginning of this chapter, I had discussed some physical phenomena which can be explained by wave theory of light. For example, I had said that when you look on the on a thin flame of oil floating on water, you see that it has varied colors. You can see varied colors as you view the layer of oil on the water from different angles. Similarly, if you see the feathers of a peacock or butterfly, you see that it has beautiful colors of blue and green appearing on its skin. Now, I had said that those physical phenomena can be explained with wave theory of light. So, let's discuss why this phenomena occur. So, first let's see why a thin flame of oil which floats on water appears to show different colors when viewed from different angles. When you view this thin film from different angles, you see different colors. Let's find out why. So, this phenomena can be explained by the concept of interference. So, we'll discuss, before we discuss why this occurs, let's understand a concept called interference on thin films. That means what? That we'll study now the interference pattern when we have a thin flame present in a medium. 